Thanks, Brian. I'm Claudia Fishman of our New York office, and I'm here to talk to you today about the city's newest sports facility, the Brooklyn Nets Arena. Sports have always been important to New Yorkers. We have many teams and many rivalries. In the past, Brooklyn was home to the Dodgers, and now, in 2012, it will be home to the next big Brooklyn team, the Brooklyn Nets. At least that's what Jay-Z is telling us. The new Nets Arena will have room for 18,000 fans and is part of a $4.9 billion sports, residential, and business complex. As you can see, the weathered metal facade is designed to look like part of the neighborhood, but obviously, our 85-foot cantilever is designed to stand out. What was especially rewarding in working on this project is that all of the main players decided to work in 3D using Building Information Modeling, or BIM. We had tons of models. We have structural steel models. We had the MEP model of all of their systems. We had the architect's main master model that had everything in it from practice courts to the kitchen sinks. We had the facade architect's unique skin model. And we had the fabricator and detailer's fully connected steel model. In a project as complex as this, working in 3D was a necessity to make sure everything was coordinated and that there were no surprises in the field. If it's what's in our model, it's, being, it's what's being built today. We modeled all of our structure in Tecla because ultimately our deliverable was a Tecla model. But we needed to make sure that we could coordinate with the rest of the program team in all of their different programs. Using our own translators, we translated our Tecla model into Revit so we could swap models with the architect. We then took their Revit model and translated out important elements, such as the slabs and the escalators, and brought it into our Tecla model. We added in the MEP models and the precasters models for visual coordination and clash detection. Working in Tecla, we were able to lay out the, uh, the secondary steel using the facade model that we had imported in so that we were able to lay it out much more easily than we would have had we had to use a myriad of 2D views. But I think what was most impressive about using Tecla for BIM was our ability to put so much information into a single model. By just double-clicking on a beam, you could see everything from a fireproofing type to the connection codes to the amount of load on the beam. It was pretty impressive. The Tecla model we built was not just for coordination and for generating our structural drawings. We gave, our, uh, we gave our steel model to the fabricator for use in the mill order, and then that became the basis for the fully connected steel model that the detailer put together. Our Tecla model, oh, sorry, because we, um, because we designed the roof and our Chicago office did the erection engineering, we were able to work directly with the erector to create a very efficient erection sequence. And we were also able to um, work with the coordination with the signature facade later on in the design process. For example, we created four deflected shaped Tecla models of our 85 foot cantilever for the facade fabricators so that we could all be sure that the facade panels were able to take the rotations and the deflections that all of the loads were imposed upon it. You can see this in the top right corner, the four deflected shaped Tecla models all superimposed together. BIM took us from design to a steel model, from a steel model to a detailed model, and from a detailed model to reality. But for me, I think what was most impressive was being able to see this huge arena come, back, come to life in my backyard. I designed foundations, I ran analysis models, and I was intricately involved in the BIM on this process. And then I would walk out of my apartment, and there it was, the arena, four blocks away. The concrete wasn't quite the blue color it was in my Tecla model, but it was still pretty impressive. The Brooklyn Nets Arena will always be a special project for me because of the opportunity it gave me to be able to apply BIM on a complex project that will put Brooklyn back on the map as a major sports destination. Thank you very much.